All right, so in the last video I filmed, I filmed a video where I talked about that one time I met Kewl from Darren Gray. Now I'm going to film the other video that I talked about or encounter, I guess you would say, that I had with members of Darren Gray. Um, and this is going to be about that time I met Toshia. So in 2007 or 8, Darren Gray was touring America a little bit and they played a show at the Wiltern one day. I think that was a Friday. And then the following day, they played a show at the Avalon in Hollywood, which... Motherfucker, I gotta go put water on my beauty blender. I'll be right back. Yeah, Darren Gray was touring and they were playing and um, a group of friends and me <laughs> joined up with another group of friends that became really good friends um, at the Wiltern show. Didn't meet any of the members at the Wiltern show. However, at the Avalon the following day, so on a Friday they played at the Wiltern and then the following Saturday they played another show at the Avalon which is kind of like a smaller nightclub venue um, in Hollywood. And I was really excited to see them play at this venue because it was smaller than the Walter and, and it, you know, if it's a smaller venue, it kind of gets to be like a little bit more intimate of a concert because, um, you know, you're closer to them and all of that. Um, and once again, the, basically the phenomena that happened uh, this tour was that the there's these videos that you can find of the incredible Darren Gray line that happened at the Wiltern and then there was also another one that happened at the Avalon and they they didn't have as good of um, security or protection I guess I would say like they had at the Wiltern because in the Wiltern it's a big venue and there's an en like artist entrance in the back so there's security so there's a, a separation between you and the fans um, unless the fans are like you know bribing the guards there's no way that a fan is going to make their way in there however at the Avalon their tour bus was literally on the street right next to the venue and the members had to walk out of the bus into the venue and completely pass by all of their fans because literally some people went from the concert at the Wiltern the night before and just slept on the street for the concert at the Avalon the next night so that they could be in the very front of the pit because that's how diehard people are with Darren Gray. Um, I don't really remember where we were in line. It was just a really weird day. Didn't sleep well the night before. I was like fighting off a cold or something. And I we got in line like at four or five in the morning the next day. And my friends and I were just walking around like going to CVS or something to try and like get food, sustenance, some sort of thing. And also just to get the fuck out of that line. Like when I tell you that that line was a little crazy and a little intense, it was a little crazy and pretty intense um sorry I'm like experimenting with new concealers and it looks really fucking crazy in this screen right now but anyway so we went to CVS just to get like snacks because it's a long time to wait from doors that are at 8 from from 5 in the morning until a show where the doors are at 8 but we did it and we're walking back from going to CVS and like either there's a lot of runs. You would probably go to, I think it was the CVS. You went to CVS so that you could buy something, use the bathroom to pee, and then go back to your spot in line. And when we were coming back to our spot in line, someone came out of the tour bus. And who was it? But Toshia. And we were kind of standing a little bit further up the sidewalk. And he walks out. And I'm just like, oh, Toshia. He looks at me. And I'm like, hi. He waves. He's like, hi. I'm like, Genki desu ka? Like, hi, hi, Genki. I'm like, gambate. Like, 
ありがとうございます。ワークセン。And it was beautiful. It was like the most magical little moment. And I don't know, maybe if it's because, like, with Kyo, I'm just like, oh my god, I admire you so much. Like, I want to be you with the blonde hair. But with Toshi, it's like, oh my god, oh my god, like, I gotta, I gotta, like, hi. That is the story of the time that I met Toshia outside of the Avalon and just had a nice little like quick exchange with him. I didn't hug him, I didn't shake his hand or anything. It was just enough to like meet him, obviously be a fan, <laughs> remember enough of my Japanese just to be like, hi, how are you? You good? Cool. Try hard tonight. All right. Bye. <laughs> and You know just have it be like that not scream or anything because then after we had that like cute little exchange he walked in to go to the venue and of course everyone in the line starts screaming and probably freaked him the fuck out but um yeah the show i guess i can tell you a little bit about the show um the show was good once again they played it was like right after they released marrow of a bone so they literally played that entire album plus I think maybe Dozing Green was either out or coming out at the time. And what else did they play? They also played some songs from um, uh, Withering to Death as well. They did a really long set, and this is when Kyo was still like fish hooking himself and cutting himself, and he really went hard with that. But <laughs> something that's kind of cool is that one of the bands. Oh, God damn it, all of my. <sighs> I'm cleaning my makeup brushes and a lot of them are dirty so I gotta like make do with what I have but they play their opening band for when they played at the Wiltern and when they played at um, the Avalon was this band called From Fair to Midland and their singer would like rip out clumps of his hair when he was performing so it was just kind of like a, a self-injury metal set night I enjoyed them. I haven't really listened to them since that year, but at the time they were a very good opening band and fit really well with Darren Gray, so I enjoyed watching them play. And um, what else can I say? I think, uh, oh, one of the members from From Fair to Midland gave one of Dai's picks to one of my friends that I was with. What else? I think one of them might have caught a, like a Toshia pick or something. I don't know, something like that. I didn't catch anything. And um, yeah, I don't know, it was a good show. The crowd got a little crazy at some points and it started to, the pit started doing this thing where um, it would go back and forth. A uh, fight started breaking out. It just kind of was a little bit too much for such a small venue, but oh no, had a good show. And it was a fun time. I was an idiot and tried to get into a fight with some guy that was standing on my feet. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Leave me a comment down below of any times that you have met any of the members of Darren Gray, any cute little conversations or gift exchanges that you've done with them. Let's talk about it in the comments. And that's gonna do it for this video. I will catch you in my next one, whatever it is.